so in the last video we looked at uh, doing some arithmetic uh, with some of those operators uh, we were using our uh, price column and the max discount column to you know perform calculations and then combine those into a new uh, generated column and using the as keyword to rename that now in this video let's take a look at some of the built-in string functions that we can use uh, to change um, the data like uh, some of the product names when we uh, do queries and get data back from uh, the products table. So <clears throat> real quick, if we pop over to the Postgres documentation, there's a section here for string functions and operators. If you scroll down into this first uh, table, you can see some. Uh, so this is uh, one way to concatenate strings together. So we'll look at that. There's also a concat function, uh, which is down in this other table here, uh, concat. So we'll use both uh, real quick. Um, to join together uh, some information here. So let's pop back to table plus here. And just so we can see um, what our data is, we can open up our products table here and look at it. All right, so what I'm thinking here is uh, let's query this products table. We'll grab the name of every product and then we're gonna join the price uh, with that in a string. So maybe we'll say like toothbrush and then we're gonna try and join with a space, a dash, maybe another space. Uh, and then put a dollar sign and then put the price uh, at the end. We'll join all that into one string. So if we pop back over to our SQL editor here, we can give that a go. Uh, we'll do first with the, uh, the double pipe operator to do the concatenation uh, using this one here. So back in table plus, I'm gonna say select and we'll do name and then we wanna do the pipe right here, okay? And then I said, we want to join, uh, well, let's first just write uh, the name and price. These are the two things we want to join. Okay, let's do this from products. Okay, and let's just run this query and see what we get. So <clears throat> you see that uh, Postgres uh, ran our query and this is the result that it turned to us. So uh, it didn't know what to call this column. So it did the you know question column question, uh, question mark column question mark uh, label for it. And then it just smushed the two values together here. So this is not what we want, um, but it gives us a, a good first look at how this operator works. So what we wanna do is we wanna join these two things together, but we wanna put some spacing in between there and some formatting and so forth. So what we could do is we can say, we can do another uh, double pipe operator here. And I'm gonna put a little space there. And then in quotes, we can say, okay, after the name of the product is, is uh, in a string or in our string. We want to add a space after that. Then let's maybe put a dash with another space and then a dollar sign. And we want to use this as our you know uh, middle string to then join the other two uh, uh, column information or sets of column column information together with. So if we do this and we run this query, expand this a little bit, you see that we get a nice uh, listing here of the uh, product name and its price. And in fact, why don't we rename this column to listing? So we can say as listing. And then if we run this, we see that now we've given that column a name and then it still has all of that data in it formatted nicely. So that's uh, one way we can concatenate strings uh, using this double pipe operator. Uh, the other option is if we get rid of the double pipes, we'll do name comma, and then this string here, our separator, I'll call it, and then we'll get rid of that second pipe, add a comma here. And what we can do is we can come in front of this and say concat, and then wrap this whole thing, uh, not the, oops, not the as portion, uh, but just this stuff here. We can write, uh, put that inside parentheses. And if we run this, we see that we get the exact same result. So this is another way that you can concatenate a bunch of strings together um, and return a new values uh, from your products table. All right, so look at, let's look at some other ones. Um, so one other one that we can do is called the, uh, or one other function is upper. So we see upper there, and then we can uh, open up a set of parentheses and pass name in here, for example. If we run this query, uh, we can see that uh, down here, we still have our listing uh, label here. Let's get rid of that and then rerun our query. So uh, it just uses upper as the label for that column, that generated column here, or that calculated column or computed column and it prints out the names of all the products uh, in all caps. So there's upper, there's also lower. So if we run this, 
we can see it then, you know, uh, down cases, everything prints out all the names in uh, lowercase letters. And then uh, there's a whole bunch of other ones here that you can use. Uh, you can look at the, uh, or is it uh, character length? So we can get the length of the um, each name. So if we do get rid of this, we'll say char length. Okay, we run that. We can see that uh, it prints out how many characters are in each name. And let's do a little check here. Let's grab the name first and then do the, the length. And we go and see, so toothbrush, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So there are a whole bunch of built-in uh, operators and functions in here uh, that you can use in strings. Um, we're not going to look at them all right now, but the list is here. And, you know, if you're using MySQL, it will have an appropriate list of uh, operators and functions that it supports as well. All right, so before we wrap up this video, I'm going to give you a little challenge here uh, to test... Uh, uh, your understanding of using these uh, string functions. So uh, what I want to see happen here is uh, when we first started, we made the, the list of the string that we joined together or we concatenated uh, that was like the product name with a space and a dash, another space, a dollar sign, and then the price. So I want you to recreate that. Uh, you can use the concat function or the double pipe operator to join that string however you want. Uh, but what I'd like to see then is take the whole thing and let's make it all uppercase. So go ahead and uh, pause the uh, video right here. Uh, I'll wait a second and then I'll go ahead and write the SQL query to achieve that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So to start, I'm just going to say select. And then let's see, I want to, let's just get the, uh, the string uh, concatenation going that we had before. So I'll say concat. <clears throat> Oops, concat. Oops. Let's do all caps here, concat, and then our parentheses, and we want to do the name, and then we want that uh, separator, which is the space, a dash, another space, and then a dollar sign, and then we want the price, okay? So we're going to get those columns, concat, uh, concatenate them all together, and we want to grab those from the products table, okay? So let's just run this and make sure that we get... Uh, the stuff right here. Yep. And then let's rename this column too. So let's say uh, as listing. Now I didn't say that as part of the exercise, but if you did that, great. If not, you know, you can add it now. Let's uh, go ahead and run this again. So there's our listing label. And now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we get uh, this uh, title here or this product name uh, capitalized. Now we could wrap just this part in an upper call. So let's do that now. So we'll say upper and then name right here. And if we run this, we see that uh, we expand this a little bit. Uh, that does work, right? Uh, alternatively, if you had other strings in here that you wanted to uppercase as well, uh, what you can do is see, let's get this out of here. What you can do is wrap this whole thing in a call to the upper function. So upper here, and then uh, put our closing parenthesis on the outside there and run this. And you see we get the same result here printed out to the screen. So. Excellent job on that one. So we're going to wrap up here with this video for uh, our little introductory uh, lesson into string functions and operators. Uh, in the next video, uh, we're going to look at, uh, so far in this course, we've been getting, you know, information for all rows that are present in this products table. Um, we've been getting all that data back. In the next video, we're going to look at how we can filter that list down and only select certain, certain rows from the products table. So with that, I will see you there.